Hey guys, today I'm going to teach y'all how to make a basic teleporter. It's going to be in JavaScript. I might make a C-sharp one very soon. But, um, yeah. Alright, first thing you need to do is go obviously start up Unity. Create a new project, you know. And um, once you get a new project started, go ahead and import your uh, character controller. But I've already done it, so I don't got to do it again. Alright, well, see, we got third person, first person controller. Well, let's go up to the top where it says game object and um, go to create other. And just for the sake of things, we're going to create a plane. Alright, as you can see, we got a plane right here. I'm just going to go ahead and scale it a little bigger. Two by two by two, even though I didn't need to do it with the Y. I just did it anyways. Alright. Let's go ahead and drag our first person controller onto the map. And um, go ahead and line it up, you know. And um, where it says tag, let's go ahead and go there. Go to add tag. We'll just name it player. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to game object, create other, cube. And, um,. Let's make sure it's on the map properly. Uh, good enough. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to turn... Actually, we're not going to do nothing in just a second. What we're going to do is um, hit um, Control-C, then Control-D, so we can duplicate it. This one right here is going to be the teleporter, and this one right here is going to be the destination you, you land on where you're going to teleport to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this off the ground, actually. That way you can see it's really working. Alright, as you can see, it's way off the ground. I don't know, about 10 meters probably. I don't know. Well, alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this box right here. And um, we're going to make sure we got is trigger. And the second box up here was turn off the collider so you don't get stuck in it, you know. <laughs> And um, we'll go ahead and turn off the mesh renderer for this one. That way we just don't see it when we, you know, teleport to it. Alright, let's make our script now. It's a very basic script. And it'd probably take two minutes to make. New script. Teleport. I usually do C sharp, but I had a script that I found. I figured I'd teach y'all. That was one of my old JavaScript teleport scripts. Alright, create and add. Let's go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> it takes a minute to load sometimes. There we go. Come on, mono develop. Jesus, man, this thing's slow sometimes. I don't know why I always get this error. Even though I use C-sharp, I still get this error. I don't know why. Alright. First thing we're going to do is just go ahead and just delete all this. We don't need it. As far as I know of, no, we don't. Okay, just delete all of that. Now, here's what we're going to do at the very top. I like to go down one line so it's not at the very, very top. We'll type in var destination. And it's going to be a type of transform. Okay. And this is where we will teleport to. Alright, so this is this place where whenever we hit the box, we're going to land on this box right here. So this is where we're, we're going to like teleport to. Alright. We're going to type in function on trigger enter. A type of other. Or you can name anything else. You can make it collision if you want. For COL. It don't matter. I'm just going to type in other. And we're going to do collider. Now. If other dot compare tag. 
not tag, but compare tag, is equal to player, then other dot transform dot position oops equals destination dot transform dot position that's it that's the whole script guys this should work in theory all right let's just make sure we got a variable destination which is a transform that's where we're going to actually teleport to then we got the on trigger enter function other collider <clears throat> now if the compared tag is equal to player then we're gonna transform ourselves because other right here as you can see at the top in the function other is the collider so if other is equal to player then other transforms into this position right here I hope I made sense alright let's go ahead and test this out real quick we'll make sure our player see if we get any errors no we don't alright let's check my player again see I didn't put the tag actually on it and um, alright let's see something real quick first of all where's my other ball oh yeah I cut the mesh render off that's right let me just rotate the player real quick. And I don't know why my stuff's all messed up like this. I'm going to put that over here. And um, hierarchy, uh, I'll just leave it for now, whatever. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Why is it not showing my box? Oh, okay. Alright, one thing we need to do is we need to add a light. Go back to game object other directional light. All right, now we can see. I want to turn the intensity down just a little bit so it ain't blinding us. All right, in theory it should work now. We're about to find out. We'll go ahead and cut maximize on play. All right, as you see, we're walking around the map. No big deal. Um. Oh, I forgot to assign the box. That's why. I like, wait a minute, something's not working right. Yeah, I forgot to put the transform in there. There we go. Alright, now it will work. Right, as you can see, there's no box up there, but it's there. Alright, walk into it. Boom, teleported. Do it again. Teleported. Teleported. Teleported and teleported. Yeah, that's how you do that, guys. I mean, it's not too hard. I just forgot to put it on there. That was my mistake. But, um, yeah, that's how you do that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it really helped you. Thank you.